Hey everybody, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this session, this message finds you well. Yes? Whew. It's been a while. I feel like even though I did do a collective message for uh, last week, um, which we did focus on the coming Mercury retrograde messages for that, I just feel like it's been a while since we have had this session. Um, again, it, it, this is not a live session. It's not live. Um, I actually sat here. <laughs> I sat here for a good like five minutes just trying to figure out whether I wanted to go live or not. But the message I kept getting was just record the message. It really doesn't matter. Just get the message out there. Okay. We need a collective message. So that's what we're going to do today. Again, I hope everyone is well, even though it does feel like the energies are a little tumultuous right now. I did. Um, oh, oh, my ear finally popped. <laughs> I've been going through some. There's something going around town um, and it's like the flu, but it's like a I don't know it's a pretty intense situation either you get it for like three days and you're knocked out for three days and then you're fine or it's a situation where like you're dealing with it for weeks i'm one of those that have been dealing with it for weeks but it hasn't been major symptoms um except for like this cough this lingering cough which i'm finally getting over but now it's like my sinuses are all affected and my ear hasn't been able to pop in like the last week it's been crazy and it just went <laughs> okay so anyway um but i do feel like this has been a little bit of a tumultuous time period for the collective um i did do a reading for patreon yesterday and that was all centered around um figuring out who we are or re-figuring out who we are going through a process right now see my right ear what i'm sorry my left ear was clogged and now my right ear, that popped, and now my right ear is clogged again. It, uh, anyway, sorry. Um, there, there is an energy in the air of redefining who we are in this physical experience, um, and collectively speaking. And um, I was doing my morning thing, you know, my meditations, my yoga stretches, blah, blah, blah. And then I put on something to listen to while I was washing some dishes. And it was um, something from the teachings of Dolores Cannon, and it's five signs that you know you're living in the five fifth dimension. Um, and so I was like, oh, let me just put this on in the background, see you know while I'm doing these dishes. And it hit me that one of the things that I'm experiencing, and one of the things that I channeled for the collective over on Patreon, is um, the, this energy of like releasing old. Okay, I'm I, right now I'm hearing releasing old habits, um, but really what it feels like is releasing old versions of yourself, old ways of defining yourself, old ways of identifying. And this is not necessarily like you're getting rid of it because, oh, you're just fed up with it. And it's not even necessarily that you're that you're getting rid of anything. It's more of just realigning, redefining who it is you are, redefining your sense of self. So like for me, for example, I find myself kind of cycling back through old things that I used to like to do. Um, you know, old games I used to like to play, old habits, old hobbies. Um, and but this time when I as I'm cycling through these things or as I'm thinking about picking these hobbies or these um these old things that i used to enjoy doing and th picking them back up i'm not just willy-nilly going for it because oh i'm jumping back into that mindset or i'm jumping back into that space or that time period that i was in where i was doing it this time i'm really asking myself well why do i want to do this though what what is what is my reasoning for doing this what is the motivation behind getting back into this? Am I getting back into it to approach it from the place that I'm in now, from the person that I am now? Or am I trying to go back to a previous version of myself and trying to rekindle something? You know, that's, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing rekindling something. Um, and a lot of 
what I've been, ex I mean, I, 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 and I talked to a friend of the, uh, uh, one of my coworkers about this yesterday. Um, when I got into work, I was just saying how I just felt like I've lost interest in just about everything lately. And this friend of mine was like, yeah, I, um, I really have no interest in, in anything other than like sleeping and eating. And it's like, yeah, actually, that's kind of how I feel about it too. Um, and it's so strange because it's, it's like all of the, all the things that I was once excited about, um, all of the things like all of the things that I came down here that I thought I was going to be doing when I moved to Puerto Rico, all of that has changed drastically. Um, and now I'm doing something else, which is in alignment with who I am. And it's something that I really enjoy doing, but it's not ever what I expected or planned on doing when I came down here. All of the other things that I had in mind for, you know, the work that I wanted to do here, all of that either got derailed or just changed completely. So, and now I find myself in this different space. And I also find myself in questioning these, this desire or these feelings of getting back into old hobbies, we'll say. Um, I'm really questioning it because at that time, when I was doing those things in the past, I really wanted it to be about making money or making some sort of name for myself or making it big, you know, or, or anything like that. And now at this point in life, and this is one of those signs that, you know, you're living in the 5D, I don't want any of that anymore. Like, I, sure, I want to make, I would like to make more money. That would make life quite a bit easier. I mean, anybody would love to make more money, but I don't need, I'm not, I, it's not, from a, it's not from a place of, oh, I want to have gobs and gobs of money. I want to be super, super rich, or I want to have a ridiculously nice house or a big, huge house or, or a, a, a super fancy car and all that. And I don't, I don't need all that. I just want to be happy. I just want to be comfortable. I just want to be able to buy the things, afford the things that I need to afford, um, you know, treat myself to cool things or fun things every once in a while, have money for an emergency or if something goes wrong and I'd, I'd like not having to like scrape, to, you know what I mean? Like I would rather be comfortable and happy than rich and famous. And I mean, I was born with some pretty strong performing abil performance abilities, but the whole, even, even as a child, the whole idea of getting up on stage and performing for people was scary for me. I grew up with pretty bad stage fright, <laughs> which is so funny because I'm such a strong Leo, but like, there you go. You know what I mean? So collectively speaking, I feel like this is a lot of what's going on for us right now. Re I'm hearing redefining our sense of selves, coming to terms with a lot of things that you may not have reconciled in the past. Some of you may actually be getting back into old hobbies or old habits. I keep hearing habits. So, okay, I'll, I'll just put it out there. Old hobbies or old habits, but it's not necessarily so that you can just uh, recapture that time of life. It's also so that you can work through some of the challenges that you were going through at that time and then make the changes necessary to, I'm really picking up on like reintegrate yourself. This is a strong level of um, inner child healing. I'm hearing uh, inner child reconciliation. Uh, reconciling with certain parts of yourself that have been left behind at certain periods, time periods in your life, um, and rekindling re your relationship with that. Okay, that's really beautiful. Now, we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up. We did talk about that in our last session. Um, that is going to be, a, we are still in the pre shadow phase, but that is going to be officially be fully retrograde by the 14th of December, which is in four days as of the moment that this video is being recorded. Today is de December 10th, Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into some cards for this. Um, and let's see what messages we have for the collective at this time. Here we go. Hi, spirit. 
please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. We thank you so much for the love, the unconditional love, the support, the abundance, the care, and the free will that you shower upon us every single day. And we ask that you continue to please bless us in this way. And we also ask that you please tell us what it is we need to hear, show us what it is we need to see, and enlighten us to what it is we need to know so that we may live not only our best lives and not only be on our best timeline and highest timeline, but so that we may serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Um, I found it find it interesting that when I said that, when I sang my little prayer there, um, the I, I was planning on singing it in a higher octave, a higher key, but it came out in a lower register. Um, and that stood out to me. And I kind of want to say, it's not that we're in a low vibrational place right now. It's more that we are handling things on some of the lower levels. I'm getting energies of like tying up loose ends or cleaning things up on some of our lower level aspects so that we may reach higher goals or higher realities. This is definitely, uh, for some here, this is definitely about the past, cleaning up circumstances, situations from your past that have left you feeling, I wanna say less than desirable. Hmm. Okay, that was interesting. I really just wanted to point that out. Let's see, let's get into this. What messages do we have for the collective today? Spirit, for the moment. This is a timeless message, okay? So please take what resonates. Well, yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because it's a general reading, but it's also a timeless message, okay? This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment in time, yeah? What's going on for the collective at this moment? Spirit, what do you want to speak to the collective about? Be receptive, okay? Yes, 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 yes. All right, so this is already vibing with... Um, Put some of the message that came out yesterday in uh, on Patreon. All right, so we have mm. scarcity is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, cleaning up some sort of lack mentality. There are some pretty troubling energies, but it's not that bad. Let's get into it. We have be receptive. Okay. And now this is already vibing with um, what we were talking about yesterday uh, in the most previous um, Patreon reading. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend you check it out. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Um, but that was what, 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 what's resonating with this is the fact that uh, a message of center stage came out. But it's not necessarily that you are meant to be center stage in front of the people, like doing your thing. It was more an energy of making yourself center stage. So putting yourself in the central focus of your life right now and really trying to define who it is you are in this moment versus who it is, or excuse me, Spirit is saying, who it is you have become versus who you were in the past. And this may be, shit, this may be as recent as yesterday, you know, last week. It doesn't have to be months or years from now, you know what I mean? Okay, next you have synchronicity. And this is going, is really going hand in hand with be receptive, okay? Because at this moment, you are really being asked to be receptive, receptive and on, it's in order for you, in order for yourself to recognize the synchronistic events, the ways that the universe is coming through and trying to help you or trying to bring your blessings in or trying to answer your questions. Specifically, I'm hearing answering your questions because the next two cards you have are confusion and unknown. Okay. Um, now, Synchronicity here is another aspect of living in that fifth dimensional energy, that fifth dimensional reality, um, because it, uh, the, because it's this is where 
the universe is really able to bring in all everything that you need in the right timing everything that you're asking for in the right timing at the perfect time okay whether whether it be a, a, a situation um help assistance um, or just a message an answer to a question but the only way that you're really going to be able to receive that synchronicity or perceive of that synchronicity is to be receptive so also this is giving me feelings of kind of needing to slow down and really not do so much be be willing to not take so much action right now unless it's the right time to strike unless it's the right moment unless it's the window of opportunity or the doorway of opportunity that's opening for you in which now it's time to step through or take that action I'm hearing over no more over exerting yourself or at least during this time period but really I kind of want to say over exerting yourself at all is really never a good thing I am seeing a king of wands energy in my head but that's really about the window of opportunity the moment waiting for the right moment to strike okay you could even say even though he's a depiction of the masculine you could even say that the king of wands has a pretty receptive side to him because he waits for that moment of course once that moment comes he's off with the races but like he, he's not he's and this is i guess kind of where the selfish aspect of the king of wands or and even the queen of wands can come through he's not going to take action unless it's something that he wants regardless of something that someone else wants it for him or wants it with him or not it doesn't matter if he wants it he's going to go after it okay that's what i'm seeing here but it's really the energy of waiting for that proper moment and right now there is a need for being receptive because there's a bunch of confusion here and also we have the unknown but what i'm what i want to say with that is we're stepping into the unknown we're stepping into i'm hearing the next level of reality for us whatever that means for you okay specifically but um i'm hearing permanently there are some permanent changes that are about to be made to your reality and then i'm hearing synchronicity again pay attention to the synchronicities um, but in again in order to even perceive of the synchronicities you have to be in a receptive mode okay you've put the question out there you've put the desire out there now you've got to sit back and allow the universe to do its work to bring you the signs in which to tell you which direction to go in I definitely want to look deeper into this confusion and the unknown energy for sure this one mm, okay but this unknown here it even though it may seem dark i'm hearing brooding i'm hearing it may seem unfamiliar to you it doesn't mean it's bad i'm not necessarily getting a bad energy from this unknown here from the unknown but that's literally that's just it it's the unknown it's not familiar to you uh oh okay so this takes us back to um again patreon check it out really really as low as three dollars a month and i honestly i do more readings over on patreon now than i do anywhere else um and i was wanting to keep private readings open to a certain extent but i really don't even want to do maybe it's just right now I, I really don't even want to do private readings unless you're on patreon um and if you would like a private reading you, you, and you're on patreon certain tiers give you a discount anyway uh this is all relating back to that energy that we've been talking about of going from the nine of cups energy that comfort zone the familiar into the nine of pentacles energy getting ready for that ten of pentacles the stability the firm foundation the permanence the commitment something to build off of a legacy to build to grow into that kind of energy right instead of just the willy-nilly wishy-washy all kinds of emotional fulfillment but never any substance or never any stability right this is all relating to that and one of the messages that came through yesterday in patreon was releasing an old sense of self the queen of pentacles reversed meaning 
or, or the Queen of Pentacles as that energy of, well, this is who I've always been, this is how I've always provided, this is what I've always brought to the table. But now that's changing. And that's changing because you're releasing or working on releasing an old sense of self, an old way of, an outdated way of identifying, of showing up in the world. It doesn't mean that any of your gifts, your talents, or any of that are being thrown away and you're losing them, but your alignment with them is changing. How you work with them is changing. How you work with others is changing because your sense of self is changing, is getting into a realignment of sorts for you to step into a greater reality for yourself. Okay? I'm also hearing changing the way you see the world. Which is also translating to changing the way you see yourself. Now that makes sense because in changing the way that you see the world, okay, there's, I'm picking up on something here. In changing the way that you see the world, and the reality of the world and the effects of the world and the effects in it, I'm hearing, that is influencing you to change the way you show up in the world. Maybe is changing the way you are of service. Like for me, uh, and this is something I also spoke about in Patreon, I am going through another period where it's like, do I actually want to still do readings or not? Um, and this... <laughs> Okay, I, I did say this in, in Patreon, but I'll, I'll, I'll say this here. Um, I, a few days ago, I was feeling inspired to do a collective reading on Instagram, but Spirit presented it to me in the guise of, let's spill some tea. And at first, I was like, all right, we could do that, I guess. Sure, let's spill some tea. But then I got into it, and, and this actually piggybacks off of one of Queen Cup's most recent readings. Um, it, was the, it was the reading, the session where she, the, the title was, um, your new sense of self-love is going to make you want to make you say no to this, right? And she was talking about relationships. I mean, it could be really be anything, but that for me definitely m manifested in as me setting up to do this Instagram live reading to spill the tea only to find myself in that moment and effectively reading whatever was coming out and just stopping and being like i don't want to do this this doesn't this doesn't feel right this doesn't feel in the flow this doesn't i just i don't i don't feel right about this i don't want to do this and that came from my understanding of, which is why I pulled back from YouTube so much and why I'm really, really only focusing mostly on Patreon is because number one, I'm not in a position to overwork my intuition anymore. It's not a tool. I mean, yes, it, it, it's not a tool, it's a gift. Everybody has it, okay? Everybody has some form of intuition and I've gotten to a place where I would rather honor my intuition and let it guide me, okay, and only come forward when I feel called to do readings instead of overworking it all the time, using it as some sort of cash cow for notoriety, for money, for whatever. That's not, that's not what it's here for. That's not why I have it. That's not why, that's not, that is not a healthy way. I feel like that's a disrespectful way of using it. And so as I was in that moment of spilling the tea for the collective, I was like, this is, this is not what I'm here for. This is not what I would want to be using this gift for. Sure, someone might find help in it, but and then this is also piggybacking on another thing that Queen Cup mentioned, um, like not wanting to read, not wanting to sugarcoat things, not wanting to read the same old, same old stories over and over again. Like, our intuitions as, as us as readers is not here to swim around in the cesspool. I would rather use it to help uplift people, to help enlighten people, to help people see what it is they need to see so that they can become the better versions of themselves. And that can't happen if we're sitting around talking about karmic energies all the time. Well, not necessarily, but like, 
you know, let's see what your person is thinking or feeling or how do they feel about it. I'm not trying to mock anybody. I'm just saying like how much, where's the spiritual growth? Where's the self-development in that? Instead, we're just talking about the same old things, talking about this karmic and that karmic and what they're doing and blah, 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 blah. But what are you doing? How are you changing? How are you growing? How are you healing? That's what I want to be using this for. I forgot why I got onto that. But I think we were talking about the unknown here. Where this is how, so for me, this is how I'm shifting in this. So who am I at this point? I don't want to stop reading altogether. I know that I, that would not be a good thing. I mean, I know that I have this gift. I'm good at it. I, I, I want to I do it, okay? But I'm not going to do it the same old way. I'm not going to be, I'm not just going to tell you guys what it is you want to hear. Sometimes these messages are rough. Sometimes you have to turn it around and be like, oh shit, I'm the karmic right now. Right? Okay. Let's get back into the message. Yeah, we're gonna, I wanna clarify this right here. We have um, confusion and the unknown. <coughs> Excuse me. Five shuffles, okay. So let's talk about this confusion here. And the sub and, and yeah, seven of swords. And then scarcity is at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy. I definitely feel like we are coming out of a level of scarcity. This is three. Um, I feel like there, there is definitely an energy within the collective here of, uh, I'm getting four of pentacles energy, holding on to something for fear of lack for fear of not having enough, for fear of not being able to get by, um, for fear of never receiving anything like that again. This is four. Um, but that's all coming from, from scarcity beliefs. I'm hearing scarcity tactics, okay? This may be a belief system that is instilled within us by the powers that be. And I don't mean God's source creator. I mean like our physical three-dimensional overlords, you know? Last shuffle. This is kind of giving me, in some cases, this is giving me energies of not, like wanting to move on from a job or a business or, or something, but not having anything to fall back on. Like not having another job to go to before you leave this one. Uh, take it as it resonates. But this is also, this is giving me a feeling of needing to release something, needing to clear that space out first with the full belief that you will be taken care of, you will be supported, you will be provided for by the universe, you will get what you will have, what it is you need. You may have to make a few adjustments here or there, you may have to tighten the belt a little bit here or there, but you'll still get what you need. But you need to release something in full faith that it will be replaced by something better, something greater, something more worth your while, something more in alignment with you, something like that. That's what this scarcity energy is giving me right now, okay, for the collective. Now, confusion, with that, some of you, some of us, are confused about why we need to let go of this all together. Why? Because you're getting into your nine of pentacles. Nine of This is that energy of going to, uh, uh, figuratively speaking, of course, going to the gym, doing that workout, okay, getting those reps in so that you can fit into that dress to, or that suit to make it to the event, that event being your 10 of pentacles. We've been talking about this. This is reducing the fluff, trimming the fat, figuratively, literally speak. Some of you may be on a weight loss journey right now, on a fitness journey right now. That's beautiful. But this is why. The universe, spirit, God's source creator, your higher self, a future version of yourself, 
that self that you are preparing to be right now is asking you to trim some of the fat, to let some of these things go. Let some of the ways that you have identified yourself in the past go. Let it go completely for some of you. For others of you, let go of how it is you have identified. You're not necessarily like if this is a gift or a talent, you're not necessarily dropping that gift or talent altogether. What we're asking or what you're being asked to do is to realign how you identify with that gift, how you use that gift, how you use that talent. I'm also hearing see yourself as more somehow. Maybe it's allow yourself to envision you, yourself having more through that talent, that gift. I'm hearing, now I'm hearing allow your light to shine, allow yourself to expand. Oh my God, the pressure in my ears is ridiculous right now. Interesting. Okay, let's talk about confusion first, please, Spirit. Show me confusion. What is this confusion for the collective? Oh my. Okay, this is interesting. Um, this could be romantic. This is not intended to be a love reading, but take it as it resonates. Um, but there is a bit, uh, okay, I am picking up on some sort of relationship dynamic. Now, you have here the Two of Cups, Justice, and then the Lovers, but the Lovers came out in reverse. I'm gonna, they're kind of naked, so I'm not really gonna show the card, but the Lovers came out in reverse, okay? Um, and, when, and the first card that came out is the Two of Cups. Now, keep in mind that the, the Two of Cups could be seen as like a minor arcana version of the Lovers, okay? But what I heard when the Two of Cups came out was, greet yourself or meet yourself. Give me a second, you guys, because I want to make sure that I'm channeling this correctly. Because then the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the tower. The tower, the Hierophant strength. Greet yourself, meet yourself. Um, something is out of alignment here. And that's why we have this confusion. The lovers is giving me high vibrational fifth dimension, your higher self type of energies. You know, your true self, who you are outside of this three dimensional reality, an expanded version of yourself is what I'm hearing. While the two of cups is like the three dimensional lower version of yourself. Access to an, a higher aspect of yourself is closed off right now for justified reasons because you don't know who it is you truly are in the physical. And that's why you're being asked to greet yourself or to meet yourself. Two of cups. so that you can see a higher version of yourself in the future, the lovers. Now, for others of you, this is a relationship. And this is where it gets kind of dicey. Now, this is something that came through um, in the Patreon reading um, about letting go of um, some sort of group or some sort of society or some sort of like uh, interpersonal association like how others have helped to shape or mold your understanding of yourself and instead creating your own understanding of yourself or developing building your own understanding of yourself but that only comes from soul searching that only comes from doing the deep self-worth world self-worth work yes that only comes from being in that hermit mode and learning about yourself, being with yourself, taking time away to be in solitude just to be with yourself so that you can learn and greater understand yourself. I mean, we talk about that all the time here, right? Those of us, my OGs are no stranger to that. 
I know for me, I personally have gotten to the point where I much rather spend time with myself than spend time with others often. But you know, hey, what it is what it is. This higher version of yourself is blocked off. But that's because you're only seeing yourself from a lower perspective, from the three-dimensional perspective. Oh, oh, sorry. But then also, this is a relationship for some of you. And this is where it gets dicey. Like I said, for some of you, this is about releasing other people's versions of you that have been implanted or installed within your psyche, within your mind, within your understanding of yourself. For others of you, this could be a twin flame relationship or just a higher vibrational relationship. But that's reversed. That's blocked off. And instead of going with the lovers here, the higher vibrational reality, we're in the two of cups, the lower vibrational reality. And for some of you, that is incredibly justified. And I'm picking up on that. If you have a sustainable relationship with someone who is not a divine partner or maybe even your twin flame, someone you consider, consider to be your twin flame, it doesn't matter. You're happy there because it's justified. This is another example of how you will always be provided with what you need by the universe. So even if it's not your twin flame or higher version or divine counterpart, you're still gonna provide, be provided with what it is you need, what it is you desire. Keep in mind, you guys, this is coming out in confusion. I wanna get more on this. Um, can you tell me more about the lovers in reverse here? Eight of Pentacles is the first card out. You gotta do the work. The work needs to be done in order to find yourself, in order to find this divine counterpart. Uh, the work hasn't been done or isn't being done. This is why this lover's version of the reality is, this higher version of the reality is not here right now. And that's why it's justified because the, the, the work needs to be done. The work needs to be put in. Anything else about the lovers? Show me more about the lovers in the universe. Six of cups. Queen of cups reversed to the devil reversed. Wow. And then the ten of wands. I'm hearing emotional boundaries. The lovers in reverse is clarified by the eight of pentacles, the six of cups, the queen of cups in reverse, and the devil in reverse. The devil is the opposite energy to the lovers. I'm not going to show the card because they're naked. Well, I'll do this. Do it this way then. Queen of Cups reversed, Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Devil. Lack of boundaries, lack of emotional boundaries, lack of knowing one's emotions. Figure out who it is you are. I keep hearing that. Figure out who it is you are. Go back into the past and do the work, Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, to release the attachments, the codependency, the lies you've been telling yourself about yourself, about who you are. Ooh, hold on. There's another card that's flipped over here. It's the star. She's naked, she's naked too. Huh. Um, healing. This is really all about healing. This is really all about healing. You have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck and underneath the Ten of Wands is the world to the Six of Swords, to the Page of Wands. re yeah, see, re completely re-identifying yourself. But it's weird because like in a sense you are re-identifying yourself, but you're not because what you're really doing is just bringing forward a more truer version of you. You're shedding the skin the mold of yourself that living in this three-dimensional world has uh, influenced you to develop, caused you to develop. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we came down here to live these three-dimensional, to live these physical lives. 
but we're all on an ascension journey now, or at least the ones that are here on, with us, right? We're all in an ascension journey, and now it's time to reach those higher versions of yourself. And now it's time to really start doing that work to step into the fifth dimension. But you've got to let go of some of the lower vibrational negative attachments in order to be able to vibrate at that higher frequency. This is not an energy of, oh, this is an exclusive club and you can only be this, that, and the third. No, it's literally just, I want to call it the law of physics. I mean, if you can't reach that vibration, then you can't reach the dimension. It's really just about being able to vibrate on a higher, at a higher frequency. You can't do that if you're bogged down by a bunch of heavy, low vibrational, maybe even toxic shit, right? Okay, show me the Two of Cups then. What's this Two of Cups energy? Aha, there you go. You have the Three of Swords with the Eight of Wands and the Empress. This is about meeting yourself, greeting yourself, loving yourself, okay? And then judgment is at the bottom of the deck. Resurrection, Phoenix from the Ashes Risen. This is about getting to know yourself, getting to know who you are, facing your pain, facing their struggles, and loving yourself through it, nurturing yourself through it, getting to know the real you that is underneath all this scar tissue. You've got to greet yourself first. You've got to meet yourself first. Meet yourself halfway. Meet yourself where you are, and then work your, work your way up from there. This is a really encouraging energy, even though, yes, you do have this Three of Swords here. But that's, we knew that, okay? We knew. That's, this is nothing new. This Three of Swords energy should not be a surprise to you. The pain, the heartbreak, the backstabbing, the feelings of betrayal, whatnot, whatever, the abandonment issues, what, that is nothing new, okay? That should not be a surprise to any of us, <laughs> right? But if we want forward movement, Eight of Wands, we're gonna have to love and accept and nurture ourselves for who we are, where we are at this current moment. That's the only way we're gonna make any progress, right? Face your fears. Face your fears about reality. Justice is in between all of this. Damn, y'all look, judgment at the bottom of the deck, underneath that, eight of wands, I'm sorry, eight of cups, Three of Pentacles, self-mastery, walking away from something. In the Patreon reading of, that I did about this yesterday, the Eight of Cups came out, but it came out reversed. And that was giving me that energy of, there's something you need to be walking away from, something you should have been walking away from a long time ago. And it could very well be this attachments that you have where in the ways that you have defined yourself through living in this world, interacting with other people, and other people's visions, desires, wants for you, the ways they've taught you, blah, 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 things that they've taught you. This is the reason why you are not walking away from something that you've been feeling you want to walk away from all this time. Well, now it's time to do that. But figure out who you are first or in the process. For some of you, this is figuring out what it actually defining what it actually is that you want for yourself. Recognizing and or realizing that some of the ways that you have been going about uh, developing your desires or your goals or wishes, whatnot, whatever, have been heavily influenced by other people, the past, other people's vision of you, the way that you have been shaped or molded. And there's nothing wrong with this, but we're asking you to shed those layers and to get deep down into the truth of who you are. Let's look at justice. Show me justice for the collective, please, Spirit. Why is this justified? Wow. Oh, shoot. We have the Emperor now. 
The Emperor and the Empress, and that came out yesterday too in the Patreon reading. But justice is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Hierophant. Okay, I'm hearing things like you're not going after what it is you want because your heart's not in it. Or you are going after some things that you want, but your heart is still not in it. And that's create and, and I'm seeing the Hierophant here as um, a blockage. This is definitely giving me energies of that spiritual bouncer, right? That we had been talking about. Like and we were we were talking about it from the point of like other people wanting to get into your exclusive club and you being like, or this bouncer being like, let me see your credentials. If your credentials don't line up, sorry, but you're not gonna be able to be permitted, to, you're not gonna have allowed access. Well, that's kind of happening to you now. <laughs> but this is on a vibrational level. And this came through uh, yesterday in the Patreon reading. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's like, uh, and this was defined as looking for love in all the wrong places. Or looking for these opportunities in all the wrong places. Or going, out, going about it in all the wrong ways. And what is that? Well, no one can really define that for you other than your own heart, Page of Cups. Or, I'll do you one better, your inner child. I just heard that's not what, this is not what our gifts are made for. I did not give, I was not given this ability to sing and dance and perform and entertain just so that I can make a shit ton of money and become some big famous star. I was not provided I did not come into this life with such strong intuitive abilities so that I could spill the tea all the time and talk about and gossip and all that bullshit no I mean if that's how you choose to use it hey that's on you but I'm gonna be real with you you're gonna be staying in these lower vibrational energy you're gonna be staying fucking around with this devil energy and you will forever miss the higher vibrational lovers energy of the situation So, you may be going after these opportunities here, but because your heart's not in it, or because it's not in alignment with your truth, your reality, who it is you truly are, deep down within, what your inner child even says, that door is forever going to be closed. The Hierophant. That's why this is justified. This blockage from the lovers, the higher vibrational reality. And then the emperor is here at the over, as the overall energy, as another barrier or blockage. But the emperor holds the boundaries for the kingdom that the empress provides life to. Okay, the emperor is the protector, And underneath the Emperor is the Knight of Cups and the Magician, and then the star again. And the Emperor did come out in, in the Patreon reading, but in that sense, it was, we're not taking any action. We're not moving forward until, I'm hearing, until we clean this up. So with the Emperor being at the bottom of the deck and then the Knight of Cups underneath that, this Knight of Cups energy would be representative of you following through with your heart's desire. But you've got to... You've got to meet that first. You've got to clear away all of the muck, all of the old conditioning, all of the layers that are holding you down. You've got to get in tune, get in touch with your inner child. And let your inner child, and, and this is interesting. It's interesting that this message is coming out this way because we talk about inner child work here all the time. So I guess there are some individuals, maybe there are some of you that are new. Hi, welcome. Or some of y'all just haven't been getting that message or doing that part of the work. I mean, it's not easy, trust me, I know. It's not easy, okay? Reconciling with your inner child, with my inner child was one of the hardest things. It was so painful because I had to go back and effectively relive all that trauma that my inner child was still holding on to. 
but I had to, but see, here's the difference, because this is what I'm, my, my spirit is saying, you relived it with him, though. You were there next to him, holding him while he was hysterically crying, while he was riddled with fear, while he was feeling abandoned, lost and confused. You may have relived that, but the difference is you were there with him at that time and you could help console him. You could help, you could hold him while he was crying. You could give him a safe space to release that. That's not easy, guys. It's not, it's not easy. So I understand the apprehension, but this is absolutely necessary. Can't move on without it. You cannot move on without your inner child. And quite frankly, what I want to say is, my recommendation is, don't even try to move on without your inner child at least being your co-pilot, if not in somewhat of the driver's seat, you know? Okay, maybe, all right, maybe let him, okay, co-pilot. But not the type of co-pilot where it's just like, yeah, you, this is just, we're just letting you sit there and giving you this title for shits and giggles. No, 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 no. This is actually a true navigational source. Okay. Um, let's talk about, I want to look at the unknown. I, am, I do want to get a different deck for this though. Which one? Golden Universal, Tarot. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I picked this up. This is not the deck that I want to use, but this came with it. It's, it's the Hermit. This is what we've been talking about. Okay, doing that soul searching. But then we also have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of this, this deck. Scarcity. There you go. The devil energy, okay? We're releasing this. There is definitely a feeling, you guys, of um, the fool, of just jumping into the unknown, fully aware that there is no such thing as scarcity or lack. That is literally a control tactic to keep you afraid, to keep you on that rat race, to keep you running through that karmic hamster wheel. Oh, I'm never gonna have enough. There'll never be enough. Bullshit. Absolute, utter, 100% bullshit. Let's talk about the unknown, please, spirit. Five shuffles? Okay. On the split, we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. This is where we're going. You deserve this. You have a right to this. And anyone that tries to stop you is just an oppressor. And... They have no power here anymore, remember? Talk about, tell us about the unknown, please, Spirit. Just two. Three. Four. And five. Let's talk about this unknown energy. The star but the Five of Swords. Mm. The star is still at the bottom of the deck. Healing, wish fulfillment, Aquarius energy. But it came out with, the, but it showed itself with the Five of Swords. Scarcity, lack, mentality. Mm -hmm. Healing from that. Okay, show me the unknown for the collective, please, Spirit. What's this unknown energy that we're stepping... You guys, you can't make this stuff up. There he is again. First card out is the Hermit. Now, this unknown energy could very well be the unknown of you. This may not be anything in the physical reality that you're stepping into. For some of us here, this is the... I, wow. There, either there are some new people here or y'all are just now, after five years, are just now getting this message. But there are some unknown parts of yourself that you are about to start exploring, that you need to. For some of, okay, now I understand. For some of us here, even though you may have been here for a while, this is, a, this is the next step in your healing journey because you have been doing a lot so far. But now you're ready to unlock deeper, acts, uh, deeper elements of yourself. You're now you're able to gain deeper access to yourself. Ha ha ha, that's good. Show me the unknown for the collective, please. Okay, show me the unknown for the... Stop it. 
You guys, there it is again. It's the lovers in reverse. They're all naked. They're all naked. The lovers in reverse. Again. There is some, this could be a relationship. I could be talking to individuals that are on the twin flame journey. That is how I started my channel. Well, that is, I mean, you don't ever really leave the twin flame journey. I am picking up on some sort of relationship here that is just not in alignment yet because someone doesn't know themselves well enough. Someone hasn't reached deeper access of themselves enough to clear out these karmic patterns. Show me the unknown for the collective. The Empress again, you guys, you guys, come on. To the Knight of Pentacles and then the Two of Wands. Come on, you guys. There's the Empress again. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles did show himself before. I didn't mention it, though. Did he actually come out? Where is he? The Knight of Cups. Oh, there's the Fool. <laughs> the star. The Fool is under the star. Ah, that's funny. Um, I did see the Knight of Pentacles before. I didn't mention it, though, but that's okay. We have the Empress here twice. The Lovers in Reverse twice. The Hermit is here. And then the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I did not intend for this to be a Twin Flame reading. I did not intend for this to be a love reading, but here we are in some, this, in order for us, in order for you guys to have some sort of relationship, or at least in order for you to have access to a higher version of yourself or a higher version of your reality, you have got to step into, start stepping into the unknown spaces of yourself and learn about them. Love yourself fully there. Spend a hell of a, of, a, hell of a good amount of time there, all right? Don't rush it, you can't rush this situation. Spend as much time as you need to and love yourself from there. Love yourself at that space, in that space. Only you can do this, no one else can do this for you. There's a decision that you're gonna make from that point, the two of wands. For others of you, this is, well, for some of us here, the, um, oh, two of wands, ah, see, this is connected to the confusion. You've been unable to make a decision or someone has been unable to make a decision because they haven't, they haven't done enough soul searching. The hermit, Virgo energy. Wow, you guys, this is intense. Okay, closing message. Oracle guidance from the unicorns. I mean, take the other out of it. Focus on you. You need to be center stage right now, okay? You need to be the central focus. I know that sounds selfish, but you need to be the central focus in your life right now so that you can understand these things, so that you can move forward, all right? So take the idea of having someone else in your life as a result of it or because of it, take that out of the equation because that's gonna happen naturally. What you need to really focus on is you, who you are in this moment, who you have become, and who it is you see yourself being or who it is you want to be in the future, okay? Closing message. Oh, that did wanna come out, all right. Hmm. We have Adventure is at the bottom of the deck. That's nice. Um, but we have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And imagination. Get definitely giving me inner child vibes there. Yeah. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. 
hello, page of cups, right there. That's that dreamer energy, but it's reversed right now. Got to let this go. One more message from the Crystal Mandala. Closing, final closing message for the collective. Oh gosh, my readings, like I can't do a reading without it being an hour long anymore. I like, I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Closing message, please, spirit. Take this one. Okay. Oh, card number 21, Ascended Master Lady Nada and Rhodochrosite. Sensitivity. We bring you the blessing of synchronicity. Being sensitive, I'm sorry, sensitivity. Well, synchronicity is a thing too. Be receptive for those synchronicities to come in, yes? We bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you are to consciously feel and work with subtle energy. Receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, feeling and releasing energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous sparkling particles of life force dancing wildly and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic worlds is like being invited to the most special and extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found it difficult to bear during times of emotional suffering, yet you have a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. Okay. I'm being told that's enough, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so, so, so very much. Um, again, if you would like to get more frequent and extra content with me, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>